I started reading articles about the Ford Mustang on the internet and uh, through the Mustang Monthly magazine and uh, found out that uh, there was one fella in uh, in Illinois who claimed he bought he had the first Mustang that was sold and uh, the sale date was the 16th so uh, along with uh, our good friend Gerald Harbison uh, he and I went up to see this fella and uh, I think his jaw dropped when I said we got one that was sold on the 15th. I had just graduated from college and I was 22 years old. I was living at home and I got a job in the suburbs teaching third grade and I needed transportation to get to the school. I went with my parents to Johnson Ford on Cicero Avenue in Chicago to buy a convertible. But when we got there, he had no convertibles on the floor. So he said, come on in the back room with me. And he said, I got something special to show you. So we went in the back room and under a tarp were two cars and one of them was the, the Skylight Blue Mustang. It was a convertible, I said, oh, I love it. That's the one for me, I'll take it. So I bought it on the spot. It was Wednesday, April 15th and the Mustangs weren't supposed to come out till the 17th but they let me buy it on the 15th. <laughs> I paid $3,400 for the car in my salary. It was $5,100 as a teacher, beginning teacher. But my parents all loaned me the money and then I paid them back over time. And when I took it out on the street, everybody was waving at me and telling me to slow down so they could look at this car. There was a lot of hype going on about the car. I didn't really know that at the time but it was very exciting. I felt like a movie star. I was young, 22 and single. <laughs> I, could, I had a good time. <laughs> and Gail uh, and my wife and, and their friends from their, their club uh, used to tool around in the neighborhood. And, and again, as Gail says, they were really celebrities. I believe Gail would tell me that uh, the police would stop her uh, on the pretense, I guess, of giving her a ticket, but really wanted to steal the automobile. I still really think they were trying to get her telephone number, but that's not the story that she'll admit to. Well, at the time, it was, it was very sporty since I was driving more of a boxy, a bigger car, so it was smaller and it was, yeah, for young people. I guess it was for everybody, but as a young person, it really attracted me as sporty, had good pickup and that boom, boom, that noise that it went. <laughs> Gail drove it uh, back and forth to work and then uh, in the mid 70s I started driving it as a, a daily driver and uh, I had some minor problems with the carburetor linkage in 79 uh, and I pushed it in the garage and uh, the thought was well I'll fix it next week, next month, well it turned into years, 27 years that car sat in the garage. And he insisted on keeping that car and I would say sell it, you know, get rid of it, we need the space. So instead, he built an addition to the garage. The two-car garage became a three-car garage so that he could keep that Mustang. So, <laughs> what could I say then, you know, if he did that, I knew he really wanted it. I always thought that, uh, for me, it would be a retirement project. Well, yeah, it turned out to be a retirement project, did, and yes. uh, in, my, in 2006, uh, we, we thought about either selling the car or uh, restoring it, and uh, we made the decision to restore it. We're waiting for the for a, for a guy to come along and say he bought one on the 14th or prior to that, <laughs> then, we'll, then we'll have to give up that uh, title. P. 
people relate to this car, you know. It's, yes, uh, they do. Uh, it's, it's 50 years old, but it's not like 100 years old. So, you know, a lot of spectators that we see at, at shows say, oh, gee, you know, I learned to drive on a car like that. Oh, I had that car in college, or my folks just had a car just like that. And yes. uh, yes. it, it, it's, a, it's a big hit at most auto shows. And interesting about Tom and Gail is that when we've gone to the shows, uh, they've insisted that they drop the stanchions and, and the ropes and allow people to gather around the car, to sit in the car and take pictures. And uh, it's really what I refer to it as uh, America's car. And they, they've made it that way and they've really shared it with everybody. The young people have sat in the car and taken pictures and have been using it to um, uh, show and tell at school. So they're writing stories about it. And, uh... We've even heard people comment saying, oh boy, I'm, I'm glad those folks uh, took the stanchions down and the chains down and let us get closer to that car. Yeah. It is amazing that we've had it all this time and all I did, I just wanted to go out and get a new car that night and it just was a nice coincidence that it all worked out that way. But, there, yeah, it's not that I planned to buy the first one. <laughs>